What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In the continuation of my GoPro series where I actually discussed what is HEVC format and why your videos are lagging on your Hero 6 or Hero 7 camera, I'm going to share um, how to convert your laggy you know, GoPro videos where you record it in HEVC format using a, using the tool which GoPro recommends called Handbrake uh, in this video. And it, it's actually very, very simple, very easy to do. So uh, let me set up my devices. I do have my old computer, you know, which I purchased in 2012. So it is actually not Intel Klebi Lake, Intel Krebi Lake, which uh, GoPro recommends. Um, it's an Intel i7, so it's not compatible with with HEVC. But using Handbrake tool, we can actually convert that video into you know MP4 H264 format, and it's really easy. So let me jump onto my computer, and I'll walk you through how you can do that. So I'm on my computer right now and uh, let me show you what the current situation is. So as you can see, this is my GoPro clip, uh, which is actually I shot in um, 60 frames per second on a 4K resolution or from my Hero 7. So let me try to run this clip. And you can see it is actually lagging. Uh, you know, I mean, you can see the car, you can see my motorcycle, uh, you know, you, no one can actually ride that, those vehicles that slowly. Let me mute that and if I fast forward, uh, you know, like seek the video forward. You can see how slow, you know, my motorcycle is actually going. So let's close it. The video is actually pretty laggy. And if I show you the properties, you can see it is actually 4K resolution, 3840 by 2160 on a 60 frames per second. I shot it on, shot it on my Hero 7. So what you need to do, you actually need to install this tool called Handbrake. I already have it installed on my computer. But GoPro actually um, recommends this software and I'm gonna um, provide the link of this uh, software online. It's a free software, you don't have to pay for it. So what you need to do, you actually need to import your file. Either you can click on this file and browse for the file. Or if you have multiple files, you can you know batch select them using the folder. But I do have this, uh, you know, in the background, so I'm just gonna drag and drop here like that. So it is just gonna scan the file and open in the in the in the software window. And here you go. So the source has been detected as my my video, which was uh, 4K resolution, 60 FPS. An important point to note about my video is actually it is 472 MB. Uh, it is not not heavier file. And it's it's actually one minute five seconds in length, so it's it's not too big of a file. Yours can be bigger, yours can be heavier, and uh, similarly, uh, your, your the conversion will actually take longer if you have heavier files. So uh, let's go over some settings what Handbrake provides you with. It has a preset. If you select any of these settings, uh, your output settings will will automatically change accordingly because these are presets, or you can just um, you know uh, specify your output settings manually. Um, I like to uh, provide my settings manually because you know I have more control over them that way. So let's get started. Summary: um, um, You can you have two options to select your file. Either you can have the output file in, in MP4 format or in MKV format. MP4 is the most recognized and most common format. I'm gonna stick to MP4 today. That's the size it's uh, you know currently telling me it's gonna be converted into. If you want to change, you can go to dimensions and you can play with your settings accordingly. If you want to crop your video, then you can select custom and also, you know, uh, crop the video uh, here, but uh, I don't want to do that. So let's get ahead, let's get forward. Uh, let's not mess around with the filters, I don't want to change that. So video tab is actually really important because it is here that you make all the changes. So select uh, H264 from the video codec because if you select H264, only then you will be able to play your video in high resolution. H264 vid videos play very well on my computer, so I'm just gonna select H264. Select the frame rate as uh, either 60 manually, or you can actually select at same as source. So I'm gonna select at same as source because um, I want like 60 frames per second on my output video as well. The next thing is the quality, which is constant quality. Um, rating already by default, it is 22 RF. If you move this cursor to the right, it would, be, it would actually result in higher quality video. If you move this cursor to left, it will be lower quality video. But uh, if you move it over right, it will, ha it will be like bigger in size and also you know, slower in conversion. 
uh, for this video I'm just gonna leave it like that I don't want to play with the um, RF quality and that is it the, yeah the, the only important tab was video tab and uh, specify your save as location I'm just gonna go to the folder same folder I'm gonna give it a name converted video in mp4 format which you already saw save it there and uh, when everything looks good to you uh, just hit the start encode button and when you do that you can see on bottom um, you know on the bottom bar it says preparing to encode and it has just started doing that and yeah, in the background you can see i already got the new video there which is like still being under under process and uh, you can see time remaining is it says 11 minutes or 10 minutes now 9 minutes uh, it's not much because you know the, my video is actually um, it's it's only one minute in in length and also on, only 470 MB in size, so it's not it's not a lot. But uh, depending on your video, you might have a heavier video or a longer video like 20, 20 minutes, 50 minutes. I don't know. Your conversion can vary, and also depending on the co quality of your video, uh, the output video that you selected, as maybe if you selected like placebo quality, your conversion would be slower too. Another important uh, fact about Handbrake is that it actually is a great tool that can help you save size. For example, if you have a, have a video size of, of like maybe 1 GB, maybe it's a, it's a movie or something, but if you convert it using H.264 again, then probably your converted video will result in 500 MB or something. You know, you can save size with, without not much quality loss. There would be quality loss, but it won't be a lot. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna um, like uh, pause the video because I don't want you to, uh, you know, watch the conversion process for another eight minutes. All right, we are close to the completion of the process. Uh, Forty more seconds to go. And here you go. The video has been converted. As you can see, the the status is Q finished, and you can see the video in the background too. So let's refresh and uh, let's compare the videos. So that was my before video, before the conversion. As you can see, the video is quite laggy. It's not working properly. And let's check out the video after conversion. Wow, it is not laggy anymore. Let's seek, seek it forward. And as you can see, the motorcycle is going really fast. Well, the video has been converted very well. Let's check out the quality of the video after conversion. 1920, 1080, full HD video. Yes, this is what we selected and at 60 frames per second, which is fine. And the, and the size of the video has reduced to 150 MB, approximately 150 MB from 470 MB. That's a quite big difference. Well, this is pretty much it from this video. I hope you liked this video and it was useful for you. And if it was, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing more cool videos like this every week. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.